15 years ago when we bought this home, who knew that it would be our homestead? It wasn't really something that we ever thought about. At least, I don't think so. What is homesteading? It's a way of life. It's learning how to be sustainable. Homesteading is definitely an adventure and it's learning new things every single day. Welcome to our homestead, Pondering Creations Farm. It's our little slice of heaven, a place that we call home. How to turn a home into your homestead. You're gonna wanna make it a place that you don't wanna leave. A place that you find relaxing, yet get a lot of work done. Meaning grow a lot of food, harvest meat, process things. A place where you can learn lots of different recipes and how to actually preserve food that you're going to eat and put on your kitchen table. Don't be fooled. This is a very time-consuming task. Preserving, sterilizing, and then actually getting this food onto the table sometimes can take a little bit more preparation too, but it just takes some getting used to. First and foremost, I would say it's going to take hard work dedication sweat definitely a couple tears it's gonna take knowledge education and it's definitely gonna take trial and error for me turning a home into a homestead is creating a place that I don't want to leave and where you can just walk and find a meal or a snack. Doesn't matter how messy it is or how many projects you have going on. I know for us, homesteading started with really kicking up our garden a notch. And I've talked in other videos about growing a garden for your grocery list. What you're eating and spending your money on is what you should be growing in the garden. And just because you're growing it doesn't mean it's actually going to be successful. There's a lot of learning curves to gardening. And I know because I'm a new gardener and I've messed up so many things along the way. Here's the good thing about homesteading though. It's trial and error. So you just get to do it again. Just last night we had some homestead success with some baby chicks that hatched. And it feels great to have new chicks on the farm. With that comes the loss of our rescue cat, Ava, who has been with us for five years. She is just one of the many examples of loss that we will experience here on our homestead this year, I'm sure. There's something that animals give us when we care for them, and it's just something that words cannot describe. And so it's great just living on a homestead because you have that all the time. Now we have more animals than I really even know. More chickens than I count. Before we homesteaded, we got into goats and we keep them around just because they're our pets and they're adorable. Although they're very destructive. Look at what they just did to their house. So we have figured out a way to work from home and so we have a little gift shop here at the farm and we do run the landscape company out of here and people can sit by the pond and check out all the animals and we have a little community center going on. So we work and we play and we homestead all right here. So thanks for joining us at the farm today. I hope you guys had an awesome time on our homestead and if you want you can stop by weekends from 10 to 5 or make an appointment for during the week and you can check out this awesome new setup that I made for this little mama and her five chicks and here's a couple of them out and about and they're just adorable. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to our channel and check out our blog on our website at www.ponderingcreations.com. Hope to see you guys at the farm someday. 
So I hope you enjoyed the little tour around our homestead today, and I would love to hear what you are doing on yours. Leave us a comment down below, some eco-friendly ideas that you have. A little bit of a different video for us today, guys. I just wanted to thank you for hanging out with us at the farm. And I just want to encourage you all to never stop dreaming because your dreams will change. And ours did too. Who would have thought that a passion for fish would have us living on a homestead? I would have never guessed this, but I think I would have dreamt it. Homesteading is hard work. It's dedication. It's thinking outside the box. It's taking two problems and turning them into a solution.